um, go through our workflow here. So as I mentioned before, we have the, um, the geometry here in Maya that is set up in individual layers here that I've just been um, exporting individually and brought into here to brought into Mock Studio Pro and applied all the uh, finished materials and lighting to. And now I can go into our rendering engine and as I come in here, I'm going to make sure that everything is turned on and I will be just going through some options here, just making sure that the, uh, the, all the render passes are on and that we're rendering the correct camera. And as I'm coming through here, this new workflow that we're, um, we're just establishing now will render straight into Photoshop. So as I hit render here, you'll see that it's going to bring up the rendering and we're already done. So that took about a second and a half maybe, and I'm going to close this, and it's automatically going to bring up the image into Photoshop. So I can go straight into editing within Photoshop. In addition to that, I can come back to Mock Studio Pro, and I can select my Sky Dome, for example, and I can bring in a different background. Let's say I wanted this background. And this is a different image. I just brought in a different HDR image into the, um, into the background. And I'm going to adjust my, my lighting here a little bit because it's a little bit blown out. So I'm just going to bring down the uh, diffuse light of the ambient here and something like this, get a little more of a sunset feel to it. And I'm selecting my ground plane here. And I'm going to change this too really quick. But what I can do now is I can come in and do another rendering. And let's just assume I only wanted to change my background so what I'll do is I'll uncheck all of the pieces that the car is made up of, and I'm only keeping the ground plane and the sky background. And I'll re-render this. So what this allows me to do is render out a new image, and you'll see it's rendering, and um, it's already done, actually. The image just stays up on the screen. And what I told Mark Studio to do is make the car invisible, yet keep the car, despite the fact that it's invisible, uh, keep it in reflections and also keep it um, to cast shadows. So once I close this, the script will run automatically. It'll come back into Photoshop. And this is what was actually rendered because we know where the geometry is. It rendered out the scene the way it's supposed to, but the invisible geometry left behind a perfect alpha channel. So what's happening is that this is the previous rendering, and the car is left untouched. And we automatically, through our script, added a layer in Photoshop with a new rendering that the car is from the previous rendering. So now I can just go back and forth and compare my two renderings to see what they looked like. And this is all happening automated um, within Photoshop. In addition to that, we have um, some interactivity um, between Photoshop and Mock Studio. If I come back in here and select my Sky Dome, and I'll put in a different texture here again and bring back this other texture that we had here before bring up my, uh, my lighting a little bit again here to something like this. And in addition to that, I can bring up that texture in Photoshop, which is this texture here. This is the texture that is actually being loaded onto my uh, background sky here. So I can come into Photoshop and adjust this texture, for example. And I'm just going to make it a little bit darker Maybe uh, give it a slight purple hue here, make this a little bit darker, and I'll hit OK, and I'll save this image, and I'll come back into Photoshop, into Mock Studio Pro, I'm sorry. I'll come back into Mock Studio Pro, and it asked me, do you want to update this? Because Mock Studio Pro automatically realized that the image outside of Mock Studio was updated, and asked you if you wanted to update the image, and brought it in automatically. So we don't have to come back in and reload images that we changed. As long as they're changed outside of Mock Studio, it realizes what happens and automatically prompts you to update to the new image. With three monitors available to us, we can actually model in Maya. We export our geometry into Mock Studio Pro. We do all our final lighting and materials in Mock Studio Pro. Then the rendering, which can go straight into Photoshop, including comping options within Photoshop. And 
files that are open in Photoshop, like this background image, for example, as I save it out, Mock Studio will realize that the change has taken effect and will ask you to update it, and the change will automatically come back into Mock Studio. We don't have to manually reload any other objects, and this goes for pretty much any object that is being loaded in Mock Studio because all of the files that Mock Studio accesses are being referenced. So any external file, like um, uh, texture files or background files, HDR image files, or geometry animation data out of Maya or other 3D software packages.